the Z890 Carbon from MSI looks a lot like the Z890 Edge. Now, aside from the fact that it's black, it literally has the same VRM heatsink design, the same SSD heatsink cover, quick release for that M.2, quick release on that PCIe for your GPU. They are both from the MPG series, and they both have the same DDR5 overclocking capabilities. Both support CU DIMM, both have 5 M.2 storage slots, RAID support, and Thunderbolt 4 connections amongst a list of many other features. But what do you get out of that $130 jump for the upper model in that MPG series? Well, the short answer is bandwidth and speed. The first difference you'll spot is on the back I.O. The Edge will have some 5 gig USB-A ports which are colored in blue, spanning speeds all the way up to Thunderbolt 4, as well as a single 5G Ethernet LAN. The BBC Big Black Carbon, on the other hand, just skips all the 5G ports and gives you a starting speed of 10 Gs on your USB-A ports, which are all colored in red, and you get 10 of them. Like, you should not be running out of bandwidth if you have this many 10G ports. And second would be dual Ethernet ports. One is 5G and the other is 2.5. Basically, one for hardline internet and the other for something like servers or connecting multiple networks simultaneously. But for the most part, most casual users only need one for internet. Internet. The next difference is that the Carbon sports two PCIe 5.0 slots, whereas the Edge only has one. And you can tell by the metal reinforced slots compared to the plastic ones. Carbon's main PCIe slot gives you 16 lanes and the second one will give you 8 lanes. Like any motherboard out there, you can split up your PCIe lanes through the BIOS through bifurcation. So that first lane can go into 8x4x4 or that second one can go into 4x4. Now this would come especially useful when let's say you're dealing with large file transfers and a lot of data huge file sizes, video editors, content creators, things like that. And if you don't want to work with slow drives like three and a half inch hard drives or two and a half inch SSDs, which I don't ever work with anymore, I only use NVMEs. So let's say if you have an expansion slot and you have like four plus NVMe cards on that slot, then I think this would come in pretty handy. Now, the carbon over the edge is going to provide more PCI lanes, and that's kind of where the advantage is. So in short, the edge is more than capable of handling most casual user setups, whereas the carbon will provide more connectivity options on slightly more ambitious rigs.